Welcome back to this tutorial demonstration about using the Ocean KG UV 920P's remote control functions. For this part 4 of the series, I will be covering remote changing of the channel number. From the previous videos, I have shown you a handwritten flowchart okay, aimed at uh, doing a systematic flow of discussion. So this, the contents of this flowchart, I have encoded and printed out a digital copy. And here's, by the way, the hard copy of it. Okay. As you can see here, the topic that we are discussing here is using the Wushun KGUV 920P's remote control functions. So one of the remote control functions that we can do is remote stun which will not be covered in the series remote power off or power on which I have uh, covered in part uh, 2 of the series and the third function is remote changing of transceiver settings Okay, the settings that we could change are as follows so we could change the frequency change the channel number so on and so forth there are six actually that you could do remotely so in part three I have covered remote changing of the frequency okay. now for this part four I will be going into the procedures uh, concerning changing channel number okay. let's go to the top so assuming that our KGUV 920P has been activated the remote control functions has been activated via the software on the host PC we then proceed to the succeeding instructions now depending on uh, what the KGUV 920P state is we would either be we will either be doing procedure A Okay. or if it's been activated already then no need to do this but then proceed to procedure B and then 3B okay that is what is meant by this flowchart okay now let's see what we have here so we are still in the normal communication mode I could still shift sides now from side B to side A using uh, button 1. Okay, I could also shift channel using up or down button. Okay. But for purpose of uniformity and so that you could uh, go along with the tutorial, we will be setting up this uh, transceiver in such a way that the master frequency display icon is on side B so we do it like so using the button 1 okay and also for side B the master frequency the, or the operating frequency that we will be using is 155.180 it will be the same frequency that we have to key in on the HD controller that we are going to use. So in this case, a Baofeng UV5R, as you can see here, 155.180. We do it on what? Frequency on frequency mode. mode, unless of course you have already uh, programmed it on your HD controller. Okay, so it's 155.180. Okay, now this is specific radio. I have programmed in such a way that channel 1 uses 462.7250 as the frequency. Channel 2 for this frequency, 455 for channel 3. Okay, so there are specific frequencies used by the channels programmed in this radio. Now, it is important for us to note 
this because later on in the tutorial you will find out that we could only shift to channels different from our master frequency so since our master frequency is in VHF we can only therefore shift channels assigned to UHF frequencies okay. we can only shift to channel 1 3 5 7 okay we cannot shift to channel 2 because it's also VHF channel 2146.350 is VHF frequency this is also a VHF frequency so it's with this so as with this okay so we cannot shift to those frequencies we can only shift to frequencies different from uh, the master frequency that, that we are using okay now going back to the flow chart notice that uh, 3b can only be accomplished after doing procedure B which is remote control changing but then depending on this the state of the KG UV 920p we can only do this after we have done procedure A okay uh, so since we are still in normal communication mode we still have to do procedure A so to do it we hold the SP mic key in menu 44 to to shift to RCSW function and menu again to enter the uh, selection and then from the selection there's there are only two options really is either on or off so we choose on and then confirm with the menu so let's do it right now so it's menu 44 RCSW menu again to enter selection so you see it's off so using the up or down button we choose on and then menu again to confirm and then the KG UV 920p would reboot this time with both sides VFOs locked indicated by this icon okay now that we are done with procedure A we can now go to procedure B and 3B because this is what we are trying to accomplish changing channel number now take note that after doing procedure B there is a 30 second timeout so after doing all of those uh, shown in red within 30 seconds you have to press 02 plus the three digit number say let's try it one two three one pound menu down release and then let's say we want to shift to channel five so that would be zero two plus zero zero five okay, because zero five is in what VHF I mean UHF okay so let's try it holding our HD controller this time we key in what so I don't know if it's visible on the camera so it's one two three pound menu down release and then there's that beep heard on the controller and then within 30 seconds you, you hold again PTT press 0 2 and then 0, 0, 005 as the channel number new channel number and then release it the PTT and then notice that the uh, KG UV 920p rebooted this time with the new channel number that is channel 0, 0, 005 now what if we want to go back to uh, channel 3 then we proceed with procedure B 
the one two three pound thing and then immediately after that after releasing the uh, PTT button we do zero two zero zero three okay so let's try it we shift from five channel five to channel three okay so Okay, within 30 seconds, do 0 2, the code for changing ch uh, channel number, and then the new channel number, 0 0 3, and then release the button, PTT button. There's that beep, and then the KG UV 920P reboots to your channel number, as you can see here. Now, let's do other uh, channels. So what if we change to channel 6, I mean channel 7, so let's try channel 7 this time, so again, hold uh, PTT, so as indicated this PTT is running, uh, press 1, 2, 3, 1, menu, down button, now you heard that beep, so successful with the activation and then you do 0 2 0 0 7 and it shifted to channel 7 so let's try to shift to channel say channel uh, 2 from channel 7 to channel 2 let's see if it would work same procedure, one, two, three, procedure, do procedure B first. So menu, one, two, three, pound, menu, button down. There is that confirmation. Then do zero, two, zero, zero, two. Let's see if it will work. No beep. KGUV 920P did not reboot. Why? Because channel 2 is in VHF, same as your master frequency is also in VHF. So you can do changing, so VHF and then to a channel assigned to a VHF frequency. You could only do from VHF to UHF channels. So from this table, the UHF channels are what? Channel 1, channel 3, channel 5, and channel 7. Okay, it's up to you how you how you would program it on the KG UV 920P. I just did this for demonstration purposes. So let's say shift from channel 7 to channel 1. Okay? So after an unsuccessful attempt, you do what? You press the PTT and then press menu uh, 99. Okay, so that terminates all the selection. Okay. So after that, we change from channel 7 to channel 2. So that proceed with procedure B. PTT, 1, 2, 3, pound menu button down there's that beep hold the PTT again press the 02 code for changing channel number and then the new channel number 00 what 1 release the PTT and it should boot right after the beep confirmation and we are now on channel 1, which is busy at the moment. Okay. So what say? So what if we change from channel 1 to say channel back to channel 3? So we do procedure B. Okay. So one, two, three, pound, menu, button down. So the busy channel would silence and then you proceed with changing the channel number 02 
zero zero three and then release PTT after the confirmation beep the unit would restart on the specified channel number that you have just entered here so that's basically how you do remote changing of the channel number on the Ocean KG UV 920p dual band transceiver so I hope that helps thank you very much for watching